here he is, the number one lightweight contender. And man, if that's not saying something, right? Got through the gauntlet at 155 pounds, made himself undeniable. And now tonight, DC, we find out what he has for the champion. It long has been considered the deepest weight class in the UFC. So you know to get here is very tough. You have navigated the water. You have done everything right. When it was time to press square, you press square. When it was time to press X, you press X. You better do it again tonight if you want to become the champion. There is no room for error as you try to win a UFC championship. And no room for a one-pound allowance. He was right on the number 155 pounds championship weight. Confidence is high that he will wrest the title away. and not just try to hurt him. I got to be defensively responsible. Easier said than done for a fighter as gifted offensively as Dustin Poirier. Just missed with the left there. Nice defense there. Huge block. Landed that knee to the midsection. Got to think his opponent's going to feel that one in the morning. And he's going to continue to throw that strike because he knows that his opponent can't take that up. Just missed with the leg kick. Well, DC, they say styles make fights. We haven't had much of a fight here through the first minute. Hasn't been to this point. I mean, I don't have much to say, and I always got something to say. A really high pace too. It's a really high striking pace for these two. Oh, making this clinch work count. Lands the punch there. Whiffs on the right hand. Both fighters starting to open up a little bit. Oh, high level defense there. The hook shot is blocked by Poirier. Strong inside leg kick. Takedown defense holds up. Oh, now gets an underhook to get a more dominant position. Poirier does a better job of using the guy going forward. Just over three minutes now to go in round one. Beautiful right hook counter. Oh, big damaging knees here to the body. Well, now you see some visible damage on the side underneath the elbow. He told us he was going to invest in the body, and he hasn't missed a whole lot tonight. He didn't expect him to do it this effectively. He's done a fantastic job of following the game plan. Power right hand there from the King of Lafayette, Louisiana, Dustin Poirier. Mike Brown there in the corner has really honed Dustin's all-around game, and he certainly finds himself in the middle of his fighting punch. Trying to go to the body here, unable to find the target. Nice block. Slip that one. 
All right, so now we start to see some bruising appearing on the torso and all of that courtesy of the body work of his opponent. Just the, the wherewithal to go to the body and the discipline to stay with that approach. I mean, it's just tremendous. You, you see a fighter with a high fight IQ following a game plan and it's fourth. Oh, the roundhouse kick lands. Oh, beautiful counter. Back and forth. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Way to hide that leg kick. Right hook to the head block. Oh, thought he might have had that head kick, but just out of range. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh, he's in trouble. So 100 minutes to go here in what has been a competitive and action-packed first round. All right, well, good news is he rocked him. Bad news. He hurt him. Just out of range with the big right hand. There it is, another strike targeting that damaged area on the body. Is this a game plan thing? Oh! I heard it bad. Twenty seconds now remain in the round. And just misses with that big right hand. shot just before the end of the round so now he goes back to the stool wobbly a little bit we'll see if the corner can maximize these 60 seconds and keep his head in the fight all right there's the end of the round so it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of it yeah that was a big moment a big strike lands his opponents on wobbly legs that is exactly what what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool your opponent staggering back to his corner and being hopeful that he can get it back together before the start of the next round. You ready to fight? Ready. Here we are, early round two. All right, so here we go. The crowd on its feet as this next round gets underway. You saw in the previous round, both fighters got rocked. I don't think the scorecards are going to be needed for this one. No, the scorecards will not be needed. If we continue to fight as we did in the previous round, somebody is going to Oh, how good is that Poirier jab? He's got huge hands and certainly was able to find the home for his jab there. I mean, the king of Lafayette has got it going tonight. Dustin Poirier fights the southpaw, but he's a right-handed guy. That's why that jab does so much damage to his opponent. Nice job avoiding the damage from that elbow. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. He's got that single collar tie. Man, that is loud. Another strike lands for the kickboxer. He really found that flow state pretty early in this fight, and he hasn't looked back. He found it really early. And when this guy gets into his groove, he is held on wheels. And right now he is showing why he is such a high-level, high-regarded kickboxer. He is outclassing this guy. Head kick is blocked. Poirier's eye is closing up now. Not good for him. Big right hook there by the champ. Circling away towards the left now. Oh, nice up. Well, some fighters, when they get cracked in the mouth, they respond. Oh, oh he is stunned, trying to recover here. Still plenty of time to go here, round two. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed with that. Let's go. 
Poirier's kick blocked. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two, much more aggressive than we saw in round one, and now starting to find himself in the pocket. Good jab there by the champion. Oh, he gets up here, but he is on wobbly legs. Nice level change. Full side control now. Poirier's back to the side control now. Oh, right in the mouth. Under two minutes now to go in round two. Gonna try to take his opponents back here, and he does. All right, he's sort of hanging out here unguarded, DC. Not sure if he's trying to bait him in or what, but not great body language here. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Poirier, making all these shots count. All right, so you can see some swelling on the facial region now as his opponent lands yet another strike, and that one was clean. I mean, this guy is so clean with his striking. He knows exactly what he wants to accomplish, and he does a great job of doing just that. Oh, that's got to be discouraging as he gets right back up again. Nice job offensively as the strike lands clean. Oh, he lands another hook there. He's already landed several in the round. That one might have been the cleanest of the match. He turned his chin, made his chin touch his shoulder with that beautiful right. hook. He really got all of himself into that hook, pivoted off the right hand, big left hook lands. What a great punch. Well, informed speculation says he's going to try to set up another hook here. Just out of range with that kick attempt. All right, so now blood is a factor. You see that he has been opened up in that eye area. Yeah, he's got hit in the eye, and now there's a cut. But it's nothing to worry about too much now. But he's got to be very careful with it as we go forward. 15 seconds remain in the round. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those legs. Now a kick to the body. And the horn sounds on round two. What a round it was for him, DC. And of course, the seminal moment, that big knockdown that he will try to piggyback on here in this next round. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see how he builds off of the momentum that he gets from that last round. How does he deal with the success that he had and not push too hard too early trying to find the finish? You have to let it come to you as the knockdown came to you in the previous round. All right, let's check out some of the action from that previous round, DC, and what a display on the feet. Huge knockdown with that kick. Yeah, he's a high-level striker. He throws these kicks to the body, he throws them low, but when he goes up top, Ready. he's very powerful, Ready. and he can end anybody's Good. night. The toughness displayed by his opponent allow him to stay in the fight, but he cannot take any more of those types of strikes. Straight right hand counter. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes, and a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Wow. Swing and a miss with that straight left hand. Looks like that one landed. Beautiful body kick. Oh, well timed with that team. Well, as we pull up the numbers there, bottom of your screen, the body strikes really tell the story in this one. That was a big focus for his camp coming in, and he has certainly worked that midsection to great effect here tonight. Oh, there's a takedown attempt. Big left hook coming, it's blocked. Keep going forward. All right, so he earned respect from his opponent early on with the power, and now the swelling really.
swelling started to become a factor, champ. The swelling starting to become a factor. This guy is so good at recognizing a weakness in his opponent. He got him hurt. He got him swollen a little bit. And now it's starting to pay dividends. Unable to land with that punch. Nice block. from his cheek. Poirier gets the double leg takedown. Nice job there, disguising his entry. Three minutes to go in round three. All right, DC, half guard position here. You've done a lot of good work in this spot in your career. Oh, man, I love this position. And you see this fighter today loves it, too. It is the most secure position in fighting. You get an underhook on one side, you keep a half guard on the other, and then you just go to work. It's the safest position, especially for a wrestler. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. We pass the midpoint here of the fight. Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing far more strikes than he did in previous rounds. Well, you know he's tougher than I am, right? But this man has absorbed so much damage upstairs that I wouldn't be surprised to see the referee call in the doctor or something. At some point, you gotta take a look at it. He's so bruised, he's so battered, he's so swollen. And credit to his opponent for finding a route to victory and staying on that. He has dominated this fight. Well, this fight's been pretty crazy thus far. Both guys doling out a lot of damage, and neither seems too bothered by it, but clearly both parties are hurt. Both guys are hurt. Both guys are fighting beautifully. Both are showing a lot of heart right now in this fight. They're both doing amazing jobs. Let's see who gets the job done at the end of this thing. He's got him hurt here. Big right hand. strikes in this round and really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. The striking has been on point every step of the way. Careful to not gas out, but you gotta like the output here down the stretch. Well, you can see a little bit of swelling in and around that left eye now. Under a minute to go in the round. Back to the feet now. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight.